Hey you guys, welcome back to Michael Clarida Arts. I am, of course, Michael Clarida, channel named after me. So, you guys know that I love doing reviews. Of course, if the review applies itself to the drawing experience, it's something that you can utilize in your studio. And, you know, I get, I get contacted quite a bit. You know, the channel is growing. You've got almost, what, 17,000, almost 18,000 subscribers. Still obviously growing, still in its infancy. Got like 630 videos. You know, I look back over the time I've spent on this channel and I'm starting to see a little bit of return here and there. And one of those returns has to do with reviewing products and people sending me products as it applies to the drawing or studio experience. Um, I reviewed things from tablets to styluses to lamps to tables I mean you name it there's a lot of different avenues that we can go down as far as things that apply to a artist's life and the studio environment case in point um, a while back I did a review for a laptop stand and the company um, was called Boyata and they have a larger presence on Amazon and of course a website um, you know, and they, they, they have been around for quite a while. And they reached out to me recently after doing the review of that initial laptop stand, which by the way was a phenomenal laptop stand. I've had so many people contact me and say, hey Mike, I bought that laptop stand you recommended and I absolutely love it. And I'm like, great, you know, the, the video helps some people. I don't get any, any kickback or anything like that. Typically what'll happen, it's a quid pro quo. I'll do the video review of the product and I get to keep the product for free. And that's not really my, <laughs> my motivation. I don't need another laptop stand. You know, I just like good design and I like companies that stand behind their products. And Boyata seems to be one of them. They originally reached out and said, Hey, would you like to review this little spray hickey um, that, you know, you fill full of water and you spray and you clean the screen. And I'm like thinking, no, <laughs> no, I would not because I can do that with a wet rag and a paper towel or, you know, one of those things. So I said, I'll tell you what, I said, if there's an additional product that you would like me to review, because honestly, my viewers and my guys on my channel, they're going to look at this and they're going to say, yeah, you sold out. You sold out and you got a little free, you know, doohickey spray, squeegee, whatever. But the, the Boyata people said, hey, no problem. We would like to additionally send you a really cool laptop stand that swivels 360 and it's quite a bit larger. And I'm like thinking, okay, so I reviewed the other laptop stand. How much more revolutionary can it be, right? It's a laptop stand. It bends, it goes down, you put it on there and it, you know, call it a day. So I got both these products in, you know, and I'm going to do an unboxing here in just a moment. And I... I always open up the products unless it's completely sealed um, just to kind of give an overview of what I'm dealing with and my initial overview of these products first of all the laptop stand looks like you know it was built in in a robot factory the tolerances are incredible it looks like you know it, it's just an incredible piece of hardware and I'm like wow what a what a wonderful piece of machinery to add to the studio environment. Those that are looking, you know, if you've got a laptop or if you've got a, a drawing tablet or if you've got something that you need to put on a stand and it won't be willy-nilly and cheap. And this seems to be pretty awesome. And then, you know, I looked at this right here, this product right here, and my first impressions were pretty negative, right? I don't, I don't need a little squirt thing to clean my screen. I just don't, right? Um, you know, I use my shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of a no frills kind of a guy, right? I use what's around me. You know, if I need to clean off the screen, I don't touch my screen on my on my tablet or on my screen over here. But I do have a drawing screen, and you know, they say that to get fingerprints off, use plain old water, and just wipe it off. Well, this little device really surprised me. I I don't typically seek out things like this. But after I got a hold of it and I and I fiddled around with it for a few minutes and I saw what it really is, I was I was pretty floored. So, I mean, how floored can you be about a, a spray a spray bottle? All it does is this. 
but it's a little bit different. The design, I am one that respects amazing design. And whenever it gets presented in front of me, I, I act like a little kid. I, I get excited, right? As long as the product does what it's supposed to do, and it does it in a creative way, man, I am a full supporter. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and see what Boyata has to offer. Okay, and here we are. So this is the Boyata 360 degree rotation adjustable laptop stand. It's got ergonomic design, adjustable height. Um, it also has heat dispensation as it's made of aluminum and it's got these cutouts right here. It's fit for a laptop 11 inches to 17 inches. Um, I've reviewed another product by Boyata and uh, it was a wonderful piece of hardware. If I can get it off my stand here, bear with me two seconds. Obviously, I like to do things on the fly to keep things real. All right. So this is the previous product that Boyata had sent me. And I frankly was blown away by the quality, right? It's made of aluminum, machined aluminum, anodized, and it's got all these rubber stops. And frankly, it's probably the best laptop stand I've ever owned in my life. And I'm anxious to see what this one right here has to offer. It is the same company and it's machined out of the same aluminum. Now it does come in different colors. If you're interested, it comes in champagne gold, silver, gray, and black, if you prefer. I like traditional silver. We flip it over to the back and it just gives some more indications. I mean, the reality is, is going in and explaining all of the features of the laptop stand are really kind of moot because you're going to open it and then you're going to use it. It's pretty simple. Adjustable height, 360 degree rotation at the base. It's got anti-slip features all over it with a protective hook so your laptop doesn't come off. It's got load bearing up to five kilograms. That, that in and of itself is pretty substantial. It's got alloy aluminum and it's collapsible for transport. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing really quick. Now the packaging got a little damaged in shipping, that's fine. But I like the fact that they put the printing on the outside. It always gives me a preview of what's on the inside. And also if something is askew, I can always refer back to the picture on the front. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the unit. Seems like it's packed very well. I mean, whenever you're dealing with an item like this, you really don't have to go too far as far as quote unquote protecting the item because it's so sturdy and so durable and rugged to begin with. It's like having a pair of mountain, uh, a mountain shoes and packing them to where they're so delicate. You know, you don't want to damage them. But the <laughs> like I said, the reality is this, oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Okay, so now we're going to extend the Boyata laptop stand. I had to move the camera back a little bit because I noticed when I extended it, it was kind of out of frame and it's a little cold, so I got a jacket on. So, okay, so <laughs> I've, I've, I've already done this and I know that it takes an enormous amount of force to pull up on the stand. It's going to take more force than you probably expect. Um... You know, if you want to fully extend it, it goes quite high. And you know, a really nice draw, if you're an animator or something like that and you want it up high, but I primarily will have it probably down here at a nice angle. You see, it takes almost all of my effort to put it on there. <clears throat> so I've got my smaller 13.3 inch Samsung. I could have this flipped up like this. I can, a really nice viewing angle. And then of course, if I want to flip it around and have it at a drawing angle as well, the laptop stand facilitates that as well. So this is designed for 11 to 17 inch. Obviously you can go smaller. Here's my 15 inch Microsoft Laptop Studio Pro, so again, you know, I can extend it, have a nice viewing angle here, and then down here. I'm not getting, you can see I'm pushing it, and I'm not getting the, the constant bounce. And 
if I put force on it, the laptop stand's not going to go down from my hand being on the machine. Um, and then, you know, if I'm working, 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 and let's say somebody comes in or somebody's across from you, <clears throat> you could just rotate it because of this bearing mechanism in here. It sounds like a bearing mechanism. And like I said, the quality of this is absolutely phenomenal. I can't even, I can't even surmise <laughs> as far as how long this thing will probably last. You're looking at years and years and years and years of, uh, of use. And whenever you're ready, you just put it down and it goes right into your bag for transport. Like I said, it is a little heavy. Um, probably, I'd surmise, maybe three and a half maybe two and a half, three pounds, so it's not light. And that's just because it is high grade aluminum. This is not cheap aluminum. This is very thick. I mean, it will definitely support a large tablet. And for those of you, this is what I recommend. If you're gonna extend it, really have your hand here and then extend it all the way up here. And I'm a pretty decent, strong guy and it takes quite a bit of force for me to extend it. And the rubber pads are really nice too. So, what do I think of this particular unit overall? I mean, it is, <laughs> what are you gonna say? It's absolutely fantastic. Boyata, you hit it out of the park, man. Great job. So the second item that they sent me was actually the first item they asked me to review. And that's this right here. I was, I originally responded to them and I said, hey, you know, I don't think this really applies too much to the drawing channel, but then I got to thinking about it. And then I emailed them back and I said, if there's an additional item that you want me to review, I think that's fine. But this particular thing, which is a screen cleaner, this is kind of like a glorified spritz. It just spritzes your screen. You just put some spritz. Right, so <laughs> a lot of words for a little spritzer. It says it cleans all of these items from your screens, your laptops, your tablets, and of course your cell phone. The thing is, is you know, whenever I got it, I looked at it and I was floored. First of all, this is not something that I would ever buy for myself. I don't go looking for a spritzer, right? I don't go looking for a cleaning device like this. I will typically use a lint-free cloth or something along those lines um, for my screens. And most of the time I don't touch my screens unless of course it is a tablet. And then of course I don't spritz it with water. This is a desktop, first of all, it's engineered, right? It's got this acetate, or not acetate, it probably is acetate or acrylic. It's got an acrylic sleeve. It actually looks like a large lipstick or a lighter and you open it up, right? This item goes over here to the right-hand side. And then I'm looking at it, it's wrapped in this grip rubber. And then the, act the actual action of it, I don't have anything in here right now. The action of it is very fluid. So there's probably some bearings in there. And I'm like, well, how do I open it? So then I was like, oh, so then this comes out. So now we're at three separate engineered items. And again, we have a nice, transparent acrylic vessel and it looks I mean you know as well as I do that whenever you look at something you can understand whether it's wet, well made or not this is very well made right I would never buy this for myself I don't go like I said looking for something that I clean screens with and if I do it's already got to have the liquid included now you could probably use a window cleaner or water preferably just water um, or I know they sell disinfectants that are specific for electronics. You could probably place that in here um, or whatever you wanna do, right? <laughs> uh, so you place it back. And again, this is all heavy duty, I mean, it's hard plastic. So there is nothing cheap about this. I would probably, this would probably be an item I would add to my cart if I'm shopping, shopping, shopping. Keywords, laptop, keywords, tablet, keywords, cell phone. I find maybe a screen protector and then this pops out below and lo and behold, you know, you would buy this possibly for a friend 
or you know maybe that is that is your jam you want to have something on your desk right it's so funny we don't need items like this until we need them and then when we actually have them it's like we can't live without them and so i i think this is just a neat little you know doodad for my desk it'll probably sit right here you know right up here and then whenever i need it i can take it out just pop it out using my thumb spritz 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 and then we'll call it a day. So let me go ahead and get my tablet really quick just to show you the actuation of this. Very interesting, the Boyata screen cleaner. I guess a lot of people are, you know, overseas are interested in things like this. It's refillable, it's portable, streak-free. I guess it mists the liquid. It's reusable, microfiber cloth. I didn't get a microfiber cloth, did I? Wait a minute, dude. Is that what's... Is that what this is? I don't think I got a microfiber cloth in here. Is that what this is? Hold on. Two. One, two, two. Everything's in... Okay, two. That is so inventive. I love it whenever companies do stuff like this. So you take this out, right? Boom. Spritz, 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 spritz. Then this out, outer sleeve is the microfiber cloth. How inventive is that? It's got a little rubberized grip so you can... I am impressed. So let's go ahead and get some liquid in this thing and test her out. Okay, so I've chosen my dirtiest item in my office. This is my many many year old ipad mini it's got a couple cracks here and there but you can see there's a billion fingerprints on it because it's had a ton of use so i filled the unit with some plain old h2o water okay and then it says basically you take it it almost acts like a squeegee okay you turn it over on its side. And then finally on the third side, I'll go three different ways. Two different ways. Okay. Nice. So, obviously, like I said, this isn't something that I would probably buy myself, but it would be a great stocking stuffer or an item that, you know, you could add to your studio, stick it on the desk. And it's like I said, you don't need it until you need it, right? <laughs> Whenever somebody comes in and they look at your, at your tablet, it looks like, you know, there's been a huge bleh all over your screen. And you just take this and you, you know, boom, 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 three hits. Take the side, and you just squeegee off the water, or whatever liquid you decide to use. It works really, really, really well. Not just, look at that. Awesome. And that wraps up the review of both of the products sent to me by the Boyata Corporation, the Laptop 360 Stand and the wonderful Spritz Cleaner Bottle. Um, wow. I, I get floored sometimes by good design, and I said this in the intro. Sometimes I look at things and I'm like, how? It's like coming at something with a different approach, but doing it in a creative way and maximizing efficiency and cost and design and something that speaks to the user. It's really important to me that uh, you know products like this exist in the world because it's not just, oh, utilitarian. No, there's a design quotient next to it. And I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm, you know, whenever I buy a camera, whenever I buy a computer, whenever I buy you know, a bicycle, a car, I'm looking at it from the viewpoint of the user, and is it easy to use? Does it do what it says it's supposed to do? Does it have good quality? And is it something that I find attractive? And all of these little elements squished together bring apart an experience, not bring apart, bring together an experience that 
I really respect, you know, whenever a company looks at something and, and pushes the design quotient a little bit more. As far as price points go, the Boyata laptop stand is currently on sale on Amazon.com for $27. And I'm looking at that going, $27 for an extremely well-engineered, heavy piece of aluminum. I don't even think, I, I'm looking at that going, how can you manufacture something like that with all of that aluminum for $27? So, in terms of value versus return, and investment versus return, the laptop stand 360 is a sure winner. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. $27, yeah, pretty awesome. And then I look and I see their um, their screen cleaner kit right here. And currently on Amazon, there's two colors. Uh, the black one is $9.99 and the pink one is $10.99. And honestly, like I said in the, um, you know, in the video, I, I probably would not go and search for this on Amazon unless somebody showed it to me and said, hey, this is only 10 bucks. And I would look at it, in terms of value versus return, it's a pretty awesome item. Over-engineered, um, looks like it's really durable, nice acrylic, but I think this is more along the lines of, you know, I would recommend it as a gift item. Let's say you're purchasing, or if you're purchasing a tablet and you need this, if, if that, you're that kind of person that doesn't want to kind of fiddle around with washcloth and all that other stuff. I think this item fits right in that, right in that niche, right? Um, as well as, you know, as a gift. It, this would be a great gift item if you order a tablet and for somebody or it's, you know, Christmas present, great stocking stuff or something like that. So that's where I'm at. So $27.99 for the laptop stand 360 and $9.99 respectively for the, uh, for the spritzer <laughs> screen cleaner kit. Um, awesome. I, I'm just, I'm floored. You know, whenever I look at items like that, again, I just, I get kind of excited. It's like, you know, there's so many different items out there and some of them are so bad, right? I get contacted, they're like, would you like to review this? And I see a picture of it and I do my research. I go in and I look at your website. I make sure that you're not like, you know, selling weird stuff on your website. I make sure that you're a stand-up company because honestly, if I review your product and I've actually made a video for it, that means I believe in what you're standing for. But if I see everything's good and you send me a bad product, yeah. I mean, something happened recently with another company sent me something and it, and it, it seemed great and I made the video and about three days later I started having issues. So we got another video coming up uh, for that product, but that product now, you know, the, the company's standing up for it and, 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 you know, they're gonna take care of it. Boyata is another company that I know will take care of you if you have any issues. So, hopefully you didn't get too bored with this video. I know this wasn't a drawing video, but some people need little reviews like this, little pushes. You know, I, I know whenever I go and wanna buy something, whether it be a computer, whether it be a bicycle, I mean, this is a brand new phone, and I went and watched like 15 videos of it. Even though it's kind of in the same vein of what I already had, I wanted to make sure that there wasn't something that kind of gave me a hiccup as far as the quality, the interface, you know, the weight of it. Is it too heavy or too thin? What are the applicable things that, that apply to me? And hopefully this video kind of filled that. I know it's not exciting, but you know what? Sometimes it's the little things in the studio that don't inhibit me from being creative. If I had a laptop stand and I'm drawing on it and it keeps going down and down and then it eventually breaks, that inhibits me from creativity, right? If I have a bunch of crap all over the screen and I'm going and I'm going and it builds up on the tip, which is kind of gross, yeah. I need something that takes care of that problem. So, hopefully, you now understand where I'm coming from as a reviewer and it fulfills some of those um, wishes. <laughs> I'm a wish fulfiller uh, as far as understanding, you know, what's good and what's not. So thank you guys. And uh, definitely if, if you like this video, like and subscribe and share. And if you have any other products out there, if anybody views this video and, and they're like, I need somebody to review a product. I've, I've been in the industry for over 23 years art wise. I have an eye for design and I know what quality is. So Ping me up, hit me up on my on my uh, you know comments, or you can always contact me via email.
Thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.